And this is a historic event today. This is actually the very first Super Saturday for XB Fit, and you are really part of history by being here today. Uh, companies like XB Fit, and actually that don't even hold a candle to this company, have grown into the hundreds of thousands in four, five, eight years, and we expect to do the same, and you're here for the very first one. So make sure you get your face on camera, because we will be doing a corporate video, and it'd be nice to be able to say, I was there when, uh, and, and uh, it should happen in a very short time. We won't even be able to fit in this room, certainly. So let me go ahead and get started as Lewis passes those out. Uh, just to reiterate some of the stuff Jeff went over, this is uh, one of the founders, Mr. Joe Greco. Uh, Joe ran one of the top 10 mortgage companies in the United States and actually spearheaded the number one company. Okay? Is there anything better than number one? Nope. Only a couple of you? Yeah. <laughs> There's really nothing better than number one. And that's really what he's committed to me. When I first saw this company, I met with Joe. I get involved with companies typically because of the people. Okay, the product was great, and I really was sold on the product. Uh, but what I saw was I was sitting there actually with Lewis, the other gentleman that uh, Jeff introduced, sitting there at a hotel looking over the product, looking over the company, looked real strong. I had met Joe already because he had done an expo. Uh, but then Nick Bello comes into the picture with a compensation plan, and he's going to be coming up today and talking about maximizing the compensation plan. So let me just go ahead and jump in. Next person we talked about is uh, Mr. Bello really responsible in large part for the comp plan. You're going to see, I'm not going to repeat everything on here, but he has been featured in two industry publications. Uh, and then there's this guy. I'm not going to spend too much time on him. <laughs> okay. You may not like this guy, actually. You see the shine coming off there. But anyway, I, I, have, I do have some experience. You know, I, I have built several companies into the thousands, marketing companies, et cetera. So I just want to let you know, you know, we have all the pieces here. We have an owner who you're going to hear from later that is absolutely 100% committed to the success of this company. We have the experience with Nick Bello, Lewis Cruz, and others to, that know exactly and have already built companies. So there's no guessing here. And we're going to lay out the plan later today. Uh, the wellness revolution, Paul Zane Pilsner. I'm going to talk a little bit about the industry real quick. Uh, Paul Zane Pilsner. How many people have heard of Paul? OK. He has talked about the wellness revolution. And it's funny, I was listening to the radio just last week, and they talked about how what happens when the economy's down is people either head to the gym or guess the other place they head? They head to the bar, okay? They either head to the gym or head to the bar. But right now, we are in full swing with the wellness revolution. Paul says it's a trillion, Paul Zane Pilsner says it's a trillion dollar industry. As far as the market potential specifically for our product, and we have a few products, we have a supplemental product, and we also have an energy drink with the energy drink market. It grew from 2001 to 2006, despite the economy, 516%, 6.2 billion in 2007. 20% of people ages 21 to 30 used energy drink, and actually that number is increasing, okay? Uh, in high school or college, and what we've, so what we've done with our product, 70% knew someone who used one. What we've done our, of our product is we've actually enhanced the demographics by adding minerals and supplements to an actually energy drink. Does that make sense? So this is not like a Red Bull, okay? Red Bull's more like a Kool-Aid compared to our product. This is nutrition combined with energy, okay? By 2011, Americans are projected to spend over $9 billion on energy drinks alone. 